study of the nonlinear applications of surface plasma polaritons is a rapidly developing area of research in nanophotonics. Indeed, the subwavelength confinement of surface plasma polaritons enhances enormously all the nonlinear processes which can be exploited for miniaturized active functionalities like nonlinear resonators and all optical switching and modulation. Metal nonlinearities in plasmonic devices can arise from several physical mechanisms, the most remarkable being the ponderomotive force the quantum confinement in nano-sized nanoparticles, the plasma pressure gradient in hydrodynamic models, and the interband thermomodulation. For gold, at optical frequencies, the interband thermomodulation constitutes the leading nonlinear mechanism. We start our analysis from the band structure of gold, which is characterized by a phase-centered cubic. The Wigner site's primitive cell is a rhombic dodecahedron. The reciprocal lattice is a body centered cubic, where the Wigner site's primitive cell is a truncated octahedron. At optical frequencies, the interband absorption is resonant around the points X and L of the reciprocal lattice, which correspond to the centers of the square and hexagonal facets of the truncated octahedron. The total dielectric susceptibility is given by the sum of interband and interband contributions. Only interband transitions from the valence band to states in the conduction band with energy higher than the Fermi energy are allowed. For this reason, the interband absorption is highly dependent on the temperature of the electron plasma through the Fermi smearing of the conduction electrons. The imaginary part of the interband dielectric constant can be calculated by following a semi-classical approach. Epsilon 2 primes depends on the electron temperature through the function J, which is called joint density of states. The real part of the interband dielectric constant can be then calculated through the kramers cronig relation. Hence, the complex correction to the dielectric constant depends on the temperature variation of the electron plasma, which inherently depends on the pulse optical power. The temporal dynamics of the electron plasma can be described in terms of the two temperature model. The result of this analysis reveals that the increase of temperature of the electron plasma is given by a convolution of the absorbed power and the characteristic response function, analogously to the Raman effect. The typical response time is of the order of 500 femtoseconds, much longer than the Raman response time. Thus, we have studied the effect of the thermomodulational polarization on the surface plasma polaritons propagating along a gold nanowire surrounded by silica glass. We have focused our attention on the fundamental mode and on the long-range polariton mode. The fundamental mode is cylindrically symmetric and the electromagnetic field is tightly bound across the nanowire surface. This high confinement is accompanied by a considerable loss and at optical frequencies the fundamental surface plasma polariton typically propagates only few microns. The pointing vector of the long-range polariton mode is not cylindrically symmetric but is characterized by two lobes and spirals along the nanowire. This mode is less confined and at optical frequencies, if the wire radius is small enough, it can propagate even 100 microns. We model the nonlinear dynamics by a generalized nonlinear Schrodinger equation for the field envelope. The nonlinear parameter of silica is much smaller than the thermomodulational interband nonlinearity and can be neglected. A significant redshift is observed both for the fundamental and the long-range modes. The nonlinear parameter of the fundamental mode is so large that even though the surface plasma polariton is absorbed in few microns, the redshift is still observable. Conversely, the nonlinear dynamics of the long-range mode happens on a much longer scale. Thanks for your attention and enjoy the reading.